so you guys finally we are here and little man here he decides to have a little crying fit when we start the video <laughs> he doesn't want to meet everyone he doesn't want to share himself so he is just cutting up acting up but I wanted to definitely come and do this video. It is late Sunday evening now. Um, the time sprung forward today, so we lost an hour. So that didn't help my cause because I am already late doing my video. I had to do all of my regular Sunday stuff. So, and then I was spending time with this little boy today. So I am just getting to put up the video. I'm going to try to still put it up tonight, even if it's late. So you guys who are waiting to meet this baby can get to see him. I don't know. Let me see if he wants this pacifier. Because he keeps spitting it out like he doesn't want the passy. And he loves to eat. He's so chunky and he likes to eat. He definitely loves his bottles. And you got to hurry up with his milk when he's ready to eat. Right, little boy? Say, I don't play around with the bottle. So if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my nursery. This is my newest little one. He was just born yesterday. He is only 24 hours old at this point. So I did a little preview of him yesterday when he was born. I did a premiere if you seen it. But if you did it and you're brand new to my channel, this little one, I'm going to now reveal the whole baby so you guys can see him because you didn't get to see the whole baby. So I didn't want to keep you guys waiting too long. So I was trying definitely to um, come back today with him. <laughs> but he, he doesn't want to come back right now, I don't think. He wants to eat again, it looked like. That's what he wants. That's what you want, little guy. You want to eat again. But he is just absolutely adorable, you guys. Like, I, I just can't believe how, just how precious this baby is. I, I'm like in love. He is just the sweetest little thing. When he's not screaming his head off. <laughs> when he's not screaming. So, yes. So, if you're new, you will meet the baby now with everyone else. He's finally calming down. He's sucking on his pacifier. So, I'm going to just turn him around. He just feels so amazing to hold. Like, I love holding this baby. Like, his silicone, he is just amazing to hold. His size, he he's absolutely adorable. Like, I was not expecting this. And I've had a Sage awake. This is Sage asleep, just in case you don't know. This is Sage asleep. I've had a Sage awake like two years ago, and I loved him too. Maybe I forgot how he felt, but this one right here, I don't know if he feels different or something. I love how he feels and how he moves and look how he fills out his diaper. And this is just a regular disposable diaper. He don't even need a cloth nappy. Look at that. He is a little chunk <laughs> and I just love it. Okay, so here he is. Here's the little crying baby. There he is with him chunky, chunky self. Say hi, aunties. Here I am. 
and I like to eat and mommy want to do this video and I just want to drink some milk. There's his little mouth without his fassy. I love his cute little lips. He is just a little sweetheart. So that is him, you guys. Little Sage Asleep Sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. And I painted this little guy all for myself, all by myself. There's his little feet. And I can't believe I got it done, but I did it, you guys. I did it. And I love his feet and his little chunky legs. Like, I just love, like, everything about this baby. <laughs> and I also had um, Tate which is the same body and the, the sage awake same body as this sage asleep so i definitely held and felt this baby you know the sculpt before and i definitely love the way this sculpt is L absolutely loved it when i had the sage awake and the um tape i love the size of them i love how they fit their clothes because they're so chunky i'm gonna put the camera down on him and hopefully this thing don't fall over but I love the size of them and everything. And so he just like, I guess, reminded me of all of that as I held him for the first time. So I am just so happy I got him. So happy to have him. Like, I am just absolutely overjoyed. Um, you know how when you get a new baby and they like you get you bring them home and they give you that real baby feeling like there's a real baby in the house that's what he has like brought to me is that real baby feeling and that doesn't happen all the time is with certain dolls when i bring them home i get that real baby feeling and it's like was instant when he first got here before i even painted him before I had done anything to him, he just like, once I picked him up out of the box and I felt him, I was like, oh my gosh. And then when I looked at him, the sculpt itself, I was like in love instantly. So he just really gave me that like real baby feel right from the beginning. And I just started putting stuff together for him. As you saw in the video yesterday, all of the stuff I done took out for him to wear to try on and take pictures in i've taken out bottles for him and i don't really use all of my baby bottles i have so many but for him i'm thinking the ones i took out i actually want to like match his bottles with whatever outfit and like even if i don't do a feeding video i'll take a picture of him with the bottle so i'm going to start using my bottles again because i have so many bottles and i don't really use them so you guys will be seeing a lot of him, I think. Um, and I probably will be doing feeding feeding videos with him. And he's not a drinking wet. But um, I like feeding them like the fake feedings also with the formula in the bottle. But they're not actually drinking it. Uh, simulated feeding, you call it. So he will be getting feedings, I think. Um, but I am enjoying him already. I'm so, like, excited to have him home. Um, excited that I finally finished painting him. And it took me four weeks to paint him. So I'm happy it didn't take too long. It took one month. And he's a full-body silicone. He's poured all in one piece. He doesn't have any armatures and no drinking wet. He's just the what you would call a base model. He is just a full body silicone, soft silicone. Um, and his silicone is soft and he feels so nice, like just wonderful how he feels and how he moves. But he is not the super, super soft feeling. Like Amani is still a little softer than he is, my um, Willow Awake girl. She's a little softer than him. He is soft and he feels so good, but he's not as soft as Amani. He is like the perfect consistency. He's not too firm and he's not too soft. He's like, she poured, Claire Taylor poured him, 
perfectly whoever poured him either mr taylor mr taylor or claire taylor herself um they whoever did he is like the perfect consistency the perfect softness to his silicone um so yeah so that's what he is he's a blank sage asleep kit by claire taylor dolls and that's the coa and like i said i painted him he is my first full body silicone that i've painted for myself um from start to finish and last year i painted my first partial silicone for myself so he's technically my second silicone baby i painted but the first full body silicone that i've painted um and all of the other silicones that i've painted that i've worked on it was more of like i did touch-ups to them and i might have rematted them and it kind of gave me practice before i started actually um now painting the whole doll from start to finish the whole silicone doll and if you're new i also paint vinyl reborns i started painting vinyl reborns first um i started painting vinyl reborns back in august of 2018 so i think this august will be five years i think let's see i gotta count no four years so maybe it wasn't 2018 i think it was more 2017 because it's five years now since i've been painting the vinyl reborns and now just um a year ago that I painted my first silicone baby and I'm still learning I must say it's it's like each one I paint it like like each time I paint silicone just like with the reborns you kind of like for me I just kind of learn something new as I go along you learn you make mistakes definitely this baby did not come out perfect um, I don't know how he'll show up on camera, but he definitely has issues where something I was trying to do and it didn't come out right that I try to fix it. So he has his little areas on him where I would say what I had the, the trouble with was in certain areas, the paint might have not been the color I wanted it. Because as you're painting these babies, I don't measure anything and I let me say I also self-taught myself to paint silicone and vinyl reborns. I've watched a few like tutorials, whatever I could find online, but that was about it as far as like teaching. I, I watched and just kind of implemented and went from there on my own. Um, Claire Taylor also sends like the little directions with the paint kit that you can buy from her. And other than that, I pretty much just learned, you know, how to paint my dolls on my own. And so as I'm painting, I'm not measuring anything. I'm basically with my eye measuring of how I want the paint to look. So I'm basically doing it by eye no measurements i don't know about like oh you're supposed to mix this color and that color to get this and that and the other i don't i don't do any of that i basically just mix the colors that i think should be mixed to try to get the color that i want and then i repeat that each batch of paint because you're mixing so many different batches of paint as you're painting these dolls and you're doing like section by section and you have to hurry up before that paint begins to to um like it stays I forgot what the word it is before it starts to cure and what is it pot life it has 20 minutes so you need to be using that paint within that 20 minutes or you can't use it so then you gotta mix mix another batch so basically with mixing all of those batches is a chance that some of the times the color is not what you want it or it could be a little bit off so I would say that is the main problem I have that I need to work on when I paint the next one. And I don't know when that's gonna be. <laughs> um, I'm in no rush, but um, that's what I need to work on because his color is pretty consistent, but definitely some areas where I might've put a little bit of too much of this or a little bit of too much of that, or it's, it could be a little darker than what I wanted and stuff like that. So I would say that's the main issue I have that I need to practice more. Um, 
So, anywho, that is what is going on with him. And the next problem I had that I need to work on, which I already knew, and it's tricky. You you could know how to do it, but you can still run into issues, is the matting. Oh, my goodness. I cannot stand matting them. Like, I'm holding my breath the whole time I'm matting them because if you mat them wrong, you can mess up the whole baby. Your baby could be painted beautifully and you go have an issue with the matting process and you can just screw up your baby. So definitely some areas on him, I need to go back and I hope this does not fall over because now I'm trying to put this thing down on him. Um, And this is my little tripod and it ain't the best. <laughs> it is definitely not the best. Um, but yeah, some areas on him, I probably have to go back and remat him. Like it might be shiny. I missed a spot, whatever happened. <laughs> and so I was just looking him over today and definitely I'm not done with him. I, I need to um go back and correct some stuff or remat some stuff. Um and what else? I didn't do his nails yet, so I have to do his nails also. His fingernails and his toenails. They're they're painted, but they're not tipped. So I want to go back and um paint his nails, like gloss them, and then tip them. Because at first I wasn't going to tip them, but I think I would like them tipped. Because sometimes I don't tip my doll's nails if I like how they look. Where you just paint them the color. And then you put the gloss and then I'll just leave it. Because newborn babies don't really have like white, white nail tips. Real babies. And I don't like like when, the, um, when we paint our dolls and they have like really like white white nails i don't like that the nail tips so even with my vinyl reborns when i'm painting them i try not to make the tips too too white where it looks like they have like a manicure or anything so i'm going to try to tip his but i'm going to try to do it where it's not like too white that's what i'm gonna try so this is the Pampers I wanted to try on him because I got him a size one. It's Pampers Pure. And these are the organic Pampers by Pampers brand. Um, he is wearing an Eco Natty diaper, which is also another organic diaper. This is the one that Claire Taylor sends home some of the times with her dolls. And so the reason I kind of like, and you know, I always wondered why Claire Taylor does not put regular like Pampers brand or Huggies on her dolls. Like when you buy the doll from Claire Taylor and she send it home directly to you from her and it's a full body silicone, she does not put, you know, just any kind of disposable diapers on her dolls. And she normally will send them with a um, cloth diaper also, a cloth nappy. And then she'll send you some of the Eco Natty diapers, which is the organic ones, like the ones he's wearing. And then there's another kind she will put them on, but they all Eco Natty. And so I was wondering, I was like, I always thought of this question, why she don't use, you know, regular diapers and i i never remember to ask her like when i do message her at times when i have i never asked her that question but it was like something i always was thinking about i'm taking off his hospital bracelet but um i never actually asked the question so now i bought these diapers and you know like honest diapers you you guys know that those are also organic i like those diapers as well um, Hello Bello is another organic diaper brand. There's a few different kind of organic diapers. And I'm going to start buying more of them when I buy more diapers, even though I don't need no more diapers. But for my silicone babies, I think I'm going to try to switch over 
to basically or use organic diapers. And I'm going to tell you why. When I picked up these diapers the other day, I was just getting a pack of diapers because I needed another pack of either newborn or size one diapers. So I said, let me read this. Now, I've had these diapers before. I have another pack, which I didn't even hardly use them. They still up front, but you know how they turn yellow. So I don't, now I don't want to use them because they're yellow. But um, it says that these diapers are plant-based, the liner inside. And they don't have chlorine in them. They don't have fragrance. They don't have parabens. But it says they don't have latex. So I never knew that organic diapers have latex in them. Did anybody know that? Because with silicone dolls, you're not supposed to put latex on them or in their mouths. Like the pacifiers, you're supposed to use silicone pacifiers any kind of silicone pacifiers, but not the rubber pacifiers because those are latex because you can have a reaction with the doll with the latex and the silicone. But I never knew disposable diapers has latex in them. So that is something different. So now I'm wondering if I should just switch to organic diapers for my dolls. So that's something I'm thinking about. But I don't even know now this one. I'm reading it. And guess what, you guys? I'm going to put it on him anyway because I've used these before on my dolls. And um, nothing happened. <laughs> and I've used disposable, any kind of disposable diapers. I've used Pampers. I've used Huggies. Like all of them. Loves. And nothing really happened. But I just noticed that Claire Taylor does not use all of those different brands. How do you open this? You see, I opened it in the wrong place. Um, But guess what? I'm reading this one. And I didn't read it in the store. All I saw was that latex. And I was like, what? They don't have latex in them. But guess what? These have shea butter. Which we probably shouldn't use these either. So, because it has shea butter in it. Which is an oil. So I'm going to now start reading these diaper packages and see, um, like the Hello Bello. I'm going to look at that one because I might get a pack of those. And what else they got? Hello Bello and the Honest. I need to look at the packaging and maybe I will see, do those have anything in it like shea butter? Because these have shea butter. So I'm going to use it for him, but I, I don't know if I would use them all the time. Because now I don't like that they have shea butter. But they say love more on this. That's the print. And it has like the sun and some trees on it. So I'm going to let him use it. But I don't know if I will buy another pack of these for them. I could use them for my reborn dolls though. And I'm going to go look at when I Whenever I go back to the store, you know I forgot I was about to open up his diaper. One camera. I forgot. I can't show all of that. <laughs> but yeah, whenever I go back to the store, I'm going to look at the Hello Bello brand and the Honest brand and see what those say on them. Because I never actually like read everything what that's in the diaper or not in the diaper. I know the, the um ones that Claire Taylor uses, like I said, that I just took off of him, the Eco Natty. Those are organic as well, but they, I don't think those have like any shea butter or anything in them. I remember I had read the pack when I bought those and I have some of those up front that's still in the pack. I'm going to read it, but I don't think those have any type of like shea butter or anything in those. So this is how he fits the size one and it looks so cute on him. So he can wear newborn, like the one I took off him. I think that was a size one, matter of fact. And this is a size one. He looks so cute in it. So this video will be a little bit long. I hope I can get it uploaded, you guys. I don't think I'm going to edit it or anything because then it takes longer to upload when I'm trying to edit it. I think I'm going to just let it, I'm going to just put it up. So this is one of his baskets of clothes, as I showed in the previous video yesterday. So I'm going to just pick him something out of this to put on. Like I bought these honest wipes for, for my babies, for him and the rest of them. 
And these are dry, dry wipes and they're organic as well, gentle and pure for newborns. No alcohol, no parabens, no fragrance, no chlorine. So this one doesn't say like they added anything into them. So they're just basically cloth organic wipes and they're dry so we can use them for role play when we want to wipe the babies or you can actually use it to wipe your baby because it's not wet there's nothing in them it's just a dry wipe so that's why i bought these so in here i have some disney stuff that i've been getting from walmart these are the little socks it's three pair and then i had gotten this little disney outfit mickey i love how they did the colors on these and how it's like a light blue and it's like what you call that print when a heathered print is like i don't know what you call it where it's mixed with blue and like a white and a lighter blue mixed into the material and i love the way it looks so i got this it says little star on it and it's disney and they are at Walmart, and they are a nice, affordable price for Disney baby clothing. So I was thinking of putting, like, maybe this on him. Then they also have the three pack of onesies that go with the same set. That's one. And this is, like, that heathered material also. And the background of it is, like, that beigey color with like cream mixed together. I love that color. And then this is another one, like the sweat, the little suit I just showed, the same kind of heathered blue. And this one actually have a little pocket on it. It almost look more like a romper than a onesie. And then there's this one with the gray and white and it has that heathered gray and white stripe. So I got that. And then I also got the hats that go with it. The only thing I didn't get was the hand mitts. And I'm going to look and see, do they have the hand mitts? I'm pretty sure they probably do. But they starting to run out of those because they've had them for a few months now. And so they actually starting to run out of them. But then I had this little Mickey hat for the longest with little booties to it. And, and also it has mitts. So I actually could use these mitts with those same outfits. I can kind of mix and match them. So I'm thinking I wanted him to wear like a light color today. Not anything too dark. And I kind of like to see his little legs and stuff. So I don't know if I want to put on the pants. Not sure. But that is a cute little outfit. And I like that it has the hat and everything, being that he doesn't have hair yet. And what I like too is that I was thinking the blue hat in this pack was going to be the same as this one, but it's different. They made this one just plain heathered blue. And then this one has the little, you know, Mickeys on it. So that way you don't end up with two of the same hats. So that was a good idea. Or maybe I'll just put the onesie today. So since tomorrow's Disney onesie, Disney onesie, Lord, Dis, Disney Monday, he can wear a Disney onesie. Um, and since he's getting dressed and it's late, he's kind of like getting dressed for Disney Monday now on Sunday night. We'll say that. So I think I'm going to let him just wear the blue one and I'm going to put this hat with it. It matches perfectly that came with this set. So I'll let him wear the set another day because I really want to like see his legs and his feet and all of that. So I don't really want to cover him all up. Not yet. It's like when you first like get the new baby, you just want to see the baby and not so much all the clothes. <laughs> Like, you don't even want to put, like, for me, I don't even want to put no clothes on them. I like to see, like, their little belly and all of that, their legs and their little feet. You don't want to put socks on their feet. I love to see their little feet and all of that. And it's cold down here. Like, it got cold, a little cold again. 
in Georgia, but it's not that cold. So he actually can wear a onesie with some socks tonight and our little hat is enough with his blanket. Ugh. And I don't wanna really knock over that camera. Okay, so we put all of that stuff over there and get his onesie on because this video is now at 30 minutes. So now you guys, if I have to, I might have to break this video into two, I don't know. We'll see what happens. If I can get the whole thing to go up as it is, but I'm hoping I don't have to do that. But if you don't see the whole thing together, look back on my channel and if I have to split it up, it'll be part one and part two. But I'm hoping that won't happen. Let me let you guys see his back. And I will, of course, do more videos with him up in the nursery, put him in the crib. So that way you guys can actually see him more, you know, up close. If he's in the crib, you can see him better up front and i got my ring light up there for better lighting because i don't know how this lighting is gonna look back here in my room and now again it's nighttime, so that kind of messed up my lighting because now i'm only having artificial light back here there's no light coming in the window because it is dark outside so this little onesie says hello world on the little pocket so that is actually perfect. I didn't even read that before. It's perfect for his first little onesie. I didn't even realize it said hello world. So that is perfect. And I love that diaper. Why did they have to go put shea butter in them? I really like them. But I guess I'll be using them more for my um, reborn babies. And I'm going to check, like I said, the... Um, the Hello Bello and the uh, Honest and see what they say. That's his head without his hat. So he will be getting hair. I don't know when I'm going to start, but that's, that is, what did I do with that hat just now, y'all? Oh, it's on him. It's like blending right in with the shirt. I didn't even see that. Okay, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> I will start rooting him eventually, probably sometime this week. I'm kind of anxious to root him, and I do not like to root, like how many times I've said that. Y'all heard me say that if you watch my channel. And I am no professional rooter, but I get some hair in, in, in the baby head. <laughs> when I'm done, they have hair. So, and, and I, like, each baby I root, just like each baby I paint, it gives me practice. You know, I get a little better each time. You learn something new each time. So I'm going to root him and do my best. I don't want to rush, though, because when I rush, then I don't do it so well. So I'm going to try to root him sometime this week. I don't know when I'll start, but at some point this week, I will be rooting this little boy. I want him to have dark hair. I have some hair here. That's weird to say, but I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I got to look at it. If not, I'm going to have to order him some hair. And then that means I don't know when I can start because I'm going to have to wait for the hair. Here we go again. These people put thread in the socks. And you know I had my scissor over here and I moved it. So he's going to have to put his socks on after the video because they got all of them stitched together. Instead of putting the plastic pieces, they changed it up on some of this stuff now and it has thread in them. So you can't even get the socks apart. But that's the little socks. So I'll have to put his socks on after the video. The three little pair. One of them I'll pick. Um, he does have these I never put on him, but they too white with what he's wearing. So for now, his little feet will stay out. But yeah, so if you're not following us on Instagram, so you can see pictures of him and I'll put his little socks on and stuff. Um, follow us on Instagram. My Instagram link is always in the description underneath my videos. So check right under the video in the description and you can click the link and it takes you right over to my Instagram. So there is my little guy. Um, 
Oh, and his name, if you stay to the end of the video, his name is going to be Jameson. Jameson. Jameson Sage. So everyone, welcome little Jameson Sage, your new little nephew to the Reborn community. Um, I'm probably going to call him James a lot. It'll be a shorter way of saying his name instead of Jameson. That's kind of a big name for a little baby. So a lot of times I probably will call him James, but his name is Jameson Sage. And I'll go more into why I picked that name in the next video. So thanks for watching you guys. And thank you, thank you for all of your wonderful compliments and welcoming my new baby to the community. Thanks so much. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Bye-bye.